All right, this one's gonna be on URL portal. It's a uh, script I created. It's kind of similar to XDG Open or uh, what's that MailCap, which um, basically what this one does is like mainly for URLs. So uh, if the URL ends in like a JPEG or PNG, then obviously we want to open it with our you know image viewer. If it's a YouTube link, um, you know any type of like videos, we want to open with MPV and just stream it. Um, you know any other links you want to do then you can do that with this script and it's real simple I'll say it's basically just a case statement a bash uh, case statement and basically it'll match whatever the URL is and if it detects the string that it likes and then it'll execute those commands right anyways uh, I'm gonna try to explain this the best I can but some of these you know when you're talking about like 10 or 20 different programs I think 10 programs but uh, you know, if if you don't know how to use the programs, um, it's gonna be a little hard for you to follow. But the good thing is, I've done most of these uh, videos for these older programs in the past, so you can watch my old videos to have a better understanding. If you don't know what it is already, uh, but we're gonna use like Tmux, W3M, RTV, Newsboat, Euroview. Uh, what other fucking ones are there? MPV, Task Boiler. I don't know, I don't remember all of them, but um, that's what we're going to be using, right? And I'll just set this up, uh, I'll give you some examples here. If you're using like Newsboat and you want to use the script with it, um, all you got to do is edit your config here, right? Uh, you can use it with News uh, Builder also, same thing. But in there, you want to put in like a browser and then, uh, you know, point it to the URL portal script here. Um, same thing with RTV, uh, if you're using Bash. Or a ZSH or something like that, then you want to you know edit your your shell RC and uh, do an export for you know RTV browser here and point it to the script. Same thing with W3M. Um, I think it was the default. This is the default key to do it, but I just got lazy and just pointed to uh, made a new uh, key mapping, and this one is called uh, just E here, and this one's for the current link that you're on, not the current link, the the, the cursor link that you're on, and uh, point to the script, and it'll open it with you know um, the script here. Same thing with uh, URL view. Just uh, edit your configs and point to the script. Real simple. Uh, shout out to Circus UK for the idea. He told me this about like a year or two ago, but uh, never got into it yet. Uh, shout out to was that Bud Labs and G99 here? I use some of their script for uh, audio queuing, right? Anyways, uh, these are the variables, and real simple. So, for example, like I said, this one is a case statement and it just matches the string. So, for example, if it's a YouTube link or something like that, um, you know, YouTube, there's like different ways to spell YouTube in there, or if it's a Twitch link. Uh, with clips in it, and then I'll use this. Um, what was that? Uh, video queue um, variable that we have. So, video queue is basically using Task Builder, which is TSP here, and uh, it also has MPV in it. And it'll you know put it into the bottom right corner the way I like it, and it'll queue it uh, so you don't have to like open like 10 different videos at the same time, it'll just queue one after another. So I'm giving you an example of that, um, which I showed you in the past, but this one, um, you know, in the past, we actually had to use like a macro or something like that. But this one, uh, it would just detect the, uh, you know, the, the feed or whatever the link is. Um, and, you know, if it's a YouTube link, it'll automatically play with MPV. And MPV has support for a YouTube DL and it'll just play real quick, right? So, for example, if this is a YouTube link here, like this one, like actually all these are YouTube links. So I can hit the O, 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 and I'll um, play it, but I mean, I gotta mute the sound here first. So we queued it three videos, right? And uh, if I quit out of this, the next one will pop up. Like I said, I ex explained this in the past, but that one was uh, using a macro hotkey. This one's just straight up from the script. And you know we don't have to like 
say, hey, is that a is that a YouTube link or not? Who cares? This one will detect it automatically, All right? So, anyways, there's the third video. We quit out of that, and once that's done, we're not queued anymore. Uh, so that's how that one works. Now that one's for like YouTube stuff, um, you know, or Twitch stuff, which I don't have an example of. Uh, but what if it's an image or something? Do you have any images example? We got some images here, all right. So let's say, for example, uh, we go in here. We we have like uh, images for what was that JPEG and PNGs? What's this one? So we hit two here. This one is uh, a small thumbnail of it. But let's say if I hit four, this is a PNG. And look at that. It opens with a new Tmux window, uh, and it opens it with uh, W3M because W3M supports you know images of viewing it. So I don't actually have to open a GUI, uh, you know, image viewer or even a web browser. I don't have to open any of that. I uh, just use it with uh, you know W3M here to view the images real quick. Now, what if it's a not a PNG or any of that, right? This one is for uh, Imager, right? Uh, and we have that in our script, don't we? Imager. I think this one's down here somewhere. Where the fuck is that? Uh, oh yeah, I think this is the one here. Where was that one? Right, imager here. Right. Uh, if it's a gallery or an album or something like that, we actually have to you curl it, not curl. Well, you can use curl, but I, I just find that curl didn't work really well. So I used links, and we dumped the source, and we just grabbed the uh, <laughs> all the URLs in there, and then we pipe into uh, URL view. So this is what it does here. If I hit four, right. It'll basically grab all the links uh, from that gallery, because uh, normally if you open it, so let me give you an example. If I would normally open it here, uh, what was that? If I normally open this, you'll see that it has like multiple images here, right? And you really can't do that without like you know using like some type of curl or, or uh, some type of program to grab those links. So if I hit four, right, I don't have to use the the web page to view these. You know, all the URLs is already in here, and I can hit enter, and look at that. It opens with the uh, you know Tmux window, and I can view those images real quick. Right, look at that. Same deal. Quite out of that. So that one's for imager galleries. Uh, what was that one here? This one's imager albums. Kind of the same thing, it's just that it doesn't say gallery, it just says album. Uh, but we have that match too, don't we? Should be somewhere in there. Um, but here we go, hit four. And look at that, this one only has three images. So whatever it is, um, you know, we can view it real quick. And that's another thing that we're using here is that URL view. Um, if you hopefully you know how to use that one also. Uh, anything else in here? If it's a uh, send space link, right? Uh, this one will use Plowshare. If you never use Plowshare, it's like a CyberLocker downloader. Um, it's kind of like J Downloader or Free Rapid, but for your terminal. Um, but if I hit two here, I should be able to download it to our downloads folder. Look at that! Real quick, it downloads it. It's just a text file, right? But you can actually queue this. Let's see here. We have another one. It should work with like Mediafire too, but Mediafire um, modules they're actually outdated right now because last month it was working, but this month is not working, so I can't really show it off. But normally, if you can do it with Mediafire also, so for example, this Mediafire here, if I hit one, it should be able to download it. But like I said, the modules are dead now, so we gotta wait like maybe next month or something like that for them to um, fix it, right? What else is it here? So we have another sense space here. If I hit four here, it should be able to download that. And we can actually queue this. So if I hit like three, I can queue that one up. And, you know, I can go to onto another one, and we can queue it up. And you know, when it does the queue, uh, where's where's that one list? The queue is in your um, text file here. So the ones that's done, it'll say okay, right? And this is you know, I'll tell you which one is done here. Uh, it will be commented out, but the ones not done, it will just be queued here, and uh, the program will run until it downloads all of them, or at least it will try to, right?
but we'll quit out of this one here. But that's how that one works. And I like to use that for um, cyber locker links that doesn't have any capture, doesn't have any like, um, what was that, wait time, right? You know, like a time limit or some shit like that. I hate those things. Uh, and also capture. So I like to use that with thin space, uh, zippy share, and media fire. If they ever fix those uh, media fire links with their modules, then I'll use it again. Anyways, that's how we use that uh, with that one. As far as audio, um, do you have any audio? We'll do um, internet radio. And we'll do uh, 80s music. How about that? We'll search for some 80s. Now, if this is a playlist uh, URL or something like that, like PLS, uh, M3U or something like that, um, it'll open with a new TMUX split. So if we hit E in here, um, you know, it'll play it with uh, MPV, right? But just audio only. Um, so there's no GUI pop or anything like that. And that's how I like to um, play radio in here. So that was a playlist, and or you can do you know M3U doesn't matter. You know, um, it'll run in here. So I just have to hit E on the ones that I want you know, E, and look at that, it'll play you know the uh, radio station I want. So that one's for the playlist. Uh, if it's like pure audio, like MP3s and stuff like that. Um, let me give you an example here. Uh, music will search for Dido right and we'll go to Dido now if I want to queue these songs up I can just hit E um, and then you know E E let's go, go to another um, page what is this one here we'll go to another page here I don't want to take it too long We'll quit out of that. We'll go on to the next one. Okay, this one here, 38 here. So if I want to queue these up, I can hit E, 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 whatever. And the bottom here, this one's using um, it was a MPV. So in MPV, if you want to change between tracks or whatever, you can use uh, the greater than or lesser than sign. You know that little um, Pac-Man sign, whatever. So if I hit the grid in the sign, it will jump onto the next song uh, on our list. So this one's uh, Life for Rent here. Next song is Don't Leave Home. Now if I want to go back, I can use the lesser in sign. And look at that, we'll go back to the same song that we did were earlier. And then we'll go back to the first song. So you get the idea if you want to skip between them. And this one's just streaming, you're not actually downloading anything, right? Uh, streaming from these um, servers, I guess they have. And once I'm done, I quit out of that. And that's how I use it with, um, you know, uh, audio, just basic TMUX split. Uh, as far as like mainly, you know, pictures, if you don't want to use like a, the GUI uh, W3M, you can actually use, um, not G, W3M is not GUI. I mean, if you're a command line, you don't want to use W3M uh, for the command line, you can use a GUI. So for example, if we do images here, um, what we search for, let's say wallpapers, just to be safe. Uh, oops, 29 here. So, you know, normally if, if it's a uh, JPEG or, or PNG or something like that, you know, we open it, it'll open it with um, uh, W3M, but if you don't want to use W3M, you want to use a GUI, uh, what the hell is that one here? So if it matches that it's a, a JPEG or a PNG or something like that, you know, uh, usually I'll use my TMUX. But if you don't want to use TMUX, you can use the GUI too. So this GUI here, what, what was that command? Image GUI. So the command for that is just a uh, FE over here, and it will do like a geometry that I like, right? Anyways, that's what we're going to be doing uh, for this one here, right? So if you don't want to use the command line stuff we can actually use the GUI so if I open it now um, look at that it'll open with uh, that program the GUI program and we can actually uh, what is here let's open another one 
and look at that we can move this around too if you like because this is a GUI right anyways that is it for that uh, really but I like it to have it with my team exploit uh, you can use this with what else is the other one RTV like I said so I'm gonna do RTV which is a reddit terminal viewer and if it's a image or something or at least I think this one here number nine this is a YouTube link I can just hit uh, enter on that and it should open it with uh, MPV any minute right look at that and that's how you do that now if it's a image like number 11 here we can hit enter and look at that open with the image here another one image you get the idea it will just automatically detect it um, kind of like XDG open and stuff like that uh, anything else in here that we want to explain I don't think there's anything else but uh, if it's a uh, animated image or something like that then uh, you know I'll open it with <coughs> MPV here um, in a no hang up you know um, detach anything else I want to explain uh, pretty much it so if it doesn't have any of these um, matchings the last one is that it will actually open it with you know whatever your default is right and your default is whatever browser you want to use so if you want to use chromium uh, you can uncomment this one out and use chromium, chromium uh, you know private mode here incognito mode is up to you right uh, how was there? Hopefully, you understood all that. I mean, I'm not gonna explain everything because, like I said, there's like 10, maybe 15 programs in here that you know you probably have to understand to really use this. But really simple. If you want to add your own case statement, all you gotta do is add like another line here, and these ones goes in order because um, whatever at the bottom, I think I had like a three imager uh, thing here. Some of them are a little bit different. Some of them are like, uh, you know, a video. Because Imager, they have like different ones. Like some of them are videos. Some of them are images. So it was kind of annoying. So I had to do like different ones. So that's why I have like, um, you know, different ones here. Like I believe this one's the, you know, a video or some type. This one is just images. And this one's like galleries. Uh, so that's why you see like three different ones. So. You know, if you want to understand, uh, all these other ones are like for porn. Although most of you guys don't use it, but some of them like they require you to click on continue or something like that. So that's why I bypass most of them uh, using my old stuff. But I leave it there just in case if you want to use that. Anyways, uh, long long videos I believe. Um, but you know the other ones I didn't talk about was if they have like a mail to link or something like that. Or a torrent or a mag link, uh, then we'll add it to your. Or I use transmission command line, and I'll add it there. Anyways, uh, link will be in the description for the script. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll ever update it, but uh, that's what I got right now, and that's it for this one.